Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 5th through the uh, 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Pentacles. You're hanging on to something quite tightly here. Quite... No, I'm not letting this go. Okay. Uh, in the recent past, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. There was a possibility of something coming together. Um, there's also indecision there. I'm not sure if you brought up this energy of, hey, let's put this together. Or, eh, I kind of see it more brought up to you. And there's a little bit of, eh, I don't know. I get the sense that eventually you kind of did go for it. I don't know if, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's up with this energy. No, you know. A lot of people read this as reconciliation. I don't necessarily. It depends on the context. In this one, I don't see it as that. Um, I see it more as something tied up to um, your sense of stability rather than love. But... It could be that too. I don't know. Um, in the current situation, the Judgment card, the King of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Ooh, you're shining. You are shining here. There's this kind of a, man, I feel good in my own skin kind of a thing. Your heart is opened up. But you're in the middle of this process. You're not even all the way open through this. And you're already kind of looking pretty shiny. Um, Cool. In the immediate future, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, the World card. Uh, cycle is supposed to close out. Uh, it's part of your healing. I don't know what it's about, but it looks good. It looks like, yeah, I'm heading in that direction. I'm closing off this cycle. It feels good. I'm taking it slow. I'm not rushing it. Whenever it's ready to close, so be it kind of a thing. Very healing. Cool. Let's see. Let's see what Cappy's... Um, not wanting to release here, not wanting to let go of oh, possibly this. Uh, let's see. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Um, impulsive reactions, decisions being taken, all sorts of... It, it's shown up as a sense of... I don't know, someone saying something to you and then you being impulsive about it, responding from that place of, Ugh! and then really feeling kind of bummed out about it. Like, oh, what the hell did I do? You know? So that's kind of the reaction I'm getting with this. That's what you're hanging on to, kind of like still working on that aspect of let me not rush into things. Because um, a lot of the times it does come in as. A little bit of rush, a little bit of let me be impulsive about this one, you know? Even though you don't want it because it creates all the time, I see it creating the same result. You know, a little bit of, oh, shit. Oh, no. You know, I shouldn't have done that kind of a energy. Um, so watch for that energy. The uh, Ace of Pentacles there in the past. Let's see what that's about. Uh, interesting. The Devil, the Queen of Swords, the World card. You want something, but you want something in a different way than you wanted something before. Uh, something shifted here for you. That was an ending of a cycle, for example, where um, every time you wanted something, you came at it from the mind perspective, from I see something, I recognize it, I see it, I need to be able to see it and touch it for me to know that it's there and to trust that I'll go for it and so on and so forth. So there's definitely a sense of only going for tangible things. Uh, that changed a little. To me, it looks like it changed in, um, you look more trusting. Like, it doesn't have to look in a certain way. It doesn't have to be tangible. It doesn't have to 
show up in front of you for you to, you know, it's something that comes from within. Like, I feel that that direction is good for me. I can't see shit of what's going on in that direction, but I feel like that's it. So that's where I'm going to go kind of a thing. That's where I feel like things changed for you a little. That's why you were showing up in the beginning indecisive about it. Kind of like, uh, I don't know because the old way of doing things was pulling at you like well is it tangible no then don't go for it you know eh. and i feel like eventually you did and that created the ending of this cycle in the way you used to do things let's do the three of cups in the recent past the high priestess the three of wands the six of cups yeah really following your intuition more so I could practice this almost. Even though your intuition was kind of waiting around the corner all this time. And you knew it was there. But really starting to follow your intuition. Um, I still... Six of Cups has shown up. Could be a soul connection. Uh, and it could be a soul connection in terms of you and possibly finding something that speaks to you. Something that resonates with you that doesn't have to be someone. Uh, it could be a calling, it could be a new job, it could be, who knows, a situation more than anything. But it's definitely something that fits you and your your intuition was just waiting for you to, to just kind of trust and go with it. I get a sense that you did. I don't know, you would know the answer because uh, otherwise these energies wouldn't grow like this here. Uh, let's see the judgment card. In the current situation. Huh. Interesting. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups. Um, you're... Uh, there's something here. There's something here. Where overall I see you trying to keep yourself open to learning from new experiences, new people, all sorts of things. So there's definitely that sense of, yeah, I want to learn. I want to, you know, go experience and all sorts of good things. Uh, and I believe you in that. What I have a tendency to not believe you in is when you're showing me I'm open and I have my heart open for every aspect of this. I feel like you're limited in that sense. Like, let's say your friends, your family, whatever is important to you. Yes, your heart is open. Uh, but a new situation shows up. Are you still open? Fully, like you are to what is already said? Because for some reason, I'm getting that in certain aspects, you're not. Even though you are showing up open. That's why I'm seeing you open for the most part for the things that are kind of rooted in your life. Um, but still selective in how much you open towards new experiences where you're not really constantly staying open for all of it. Um, interesting. Let's do the King of Wands. Ace of Wands, the Chariot, the Two of Swords. Hold your horses, Cappy. This energy is coming back again. That impulsivity. Um, and it's coming from... Look, it's a great place, great intention. This, that sense of passion that drives you towards new things. Towards the, Why do you have hair in your mouth? Whose is this? This is yours. You lift yourself again. Uh, great intention. A little bit of... Oh, man, and I don't want to stop you from this energy because it's great. It's just a matter of when it's too much, it might blow up in your face. You know, it might not benefit you. Um, it's following how you feel. That's why I, I, I really don't want to stop you from this energy because it's great. It comes in as explosive at times. That's the only thing. Where is everything? What you doing? You licked your mane and you got hair in your mouth. Huh? Huh? Come here. Your sister and brother are sleeping in the tree. Are you gonna join them? I know you are. Okay, let me take the future out of here because Kai's tail is wagging it off the table. And let's go to the Knight of Cups in the current situation.
You had a grooming session. Look, there's stuff in your tail. Like your saliva. Alright. Um, for the Knight of Cups in the current situation, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Something's backing you away. And you don't like this energy. It's like you're fully open from your heart, but at times you forget, you know, to stay open. At times you forget. Um, and again, quite selective here and there still, which is okay. It's gonna, it's gonna get better with practice. But if you don't hold this steady energy of openness in place, it's not gonna help you in the one that's being selective. Um, mm. There's still stuff to be healed here. There's still stuff to be looked over from your past that don't allow you to stay open from your heart um, at a constant pace, at a more constant pace. You're working on it by the looks of it, but then something pulls you out of it, like almost like a subconscious button you have that turns it off, you know? Like, oh, I'm out of it. Oh, I forgot to, to be open. Oh. Kind of showing me a pattern there, but let's see. The Knight of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles and the Magician. Mm -hmm. Something's coming together here. It could be a collaboration, a partnership with someone. Um, could be going to the past situation there. Um, where it's looking like it's building up, it's something you want, it's something you're manifesting, it's looking like it's running its course towards where it needs to go quite slow, but it's coming out of the, I don't know, phase. It's coming more towards forming into something. Interesting. Let's do the Hermit. Nope. Nope. No. No, 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 no. I was actually wondering where you were. Your brother and sister are here. Your oldest brother is here, Oscar. And I'm like, where's Kai? I was wondering about him. Okay. Uh, for the Hermit, you get the Queen of, the Queen, the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Yeah. So things are not only heading towards a um, more smoother way of working in this energy of the Three of Pentacles, which I don't know, I kind of see it as a collaboration, a partnership with someone. Um, they're also opening up a lot of other doors. Uh, fucking fly. Boy, you don't catch flies by laying lazy on my table. You get up, get your ass up, and go catch it if you want. Not like that. You scare the shit out of me. Thank you. Okay, so great energy, very healing. Um, gives you a boost in confidence. And again, I see it opening up a lot of other doors. Let's do the world card in the uh, immediate future. The strength card, the ace of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Okay. You need to close off a cycle here. There's definitely something that's kind of waiting to be closed off um, in order for you to really embrace this energy of love and stability that's waiting for you on the other side of this. Um, it, it looks like it's going to take a lot of strength for you to close off the cycle. I don't know what it's about, um, but I feel like it's part of your healing here. I feel like it's tied up to that past energy and this um, collaboration looking kind of uh, energy. Maybe it didn't work out in the past because who knows why. And now it's looking like it's starting to shape into a more clear path, which is showing me that you've released some energies that were keeping you from engaging with this in a more 
equal give and take kind of an energy. So maybe it's something tied up to that because uh, it wouldn't just show up here randomly. Once you close off this cycle, again, a path towards um, great energies are, is opening up for you. Let's see what the universe has. I thought you just groomed. You're grooming again? Oh, you're a cat. That catches flies by not moving your ass. From the universe, you get the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Cups. Stop overthinking this whole dynamic, this whole situation. There's definitely some sort of a something you got going on with someone. Um, and the more you overthink it, the more it's not going to help you out. Uh, healing is coming over this if you allow it to come. If you're up in your head about it, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help the situation. So try your best to get out of your head about it and just kind of let it flow. See where it's going. Um, and healing is going to follow in this situation. I, I still don't see it as love. It could be. I don't see it as that. Um, more of a either a work situation or even a friendship or a new friendship. I don't know what it is. But that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.